so bad it's kind of blurred it's kind of blurred where the sunrise meets the skyline broken earth Come and go again And the bitterness of sweet repair I start to hear your voice again, your voice again Hey, my name is Liam Higgins uh, You guys probably know me as Capo I'm a singer-songwriter from Brisbane, Australia And I just turned 21 What was growing up like? Um, I grew up in Denver in the US, Denver, Colorado. Um, it's really cold, a lot of snow, you know, like white Christmas, that sort of vibe to it. Um, it, was, it was an awesome childhood, I really loved it. Uh, I used to play a lot of sports like ice hockey, roller hockey. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I guess back then we didn't, I, I wasn't really thinking too much. I never had a lot of worries and concerns. Uh, yeah, I was just a regular kid, I guess. Could you tell me what the transition was like from being an American to an Australian? Yeah, so when I was nine years old, I moved, my whole family moved, relocated from Denver to uh, Brisbane, which was, it was a huge life change as a kid being at that age. Like I'd just sort of become old enough to really value the friendships and longer term relationships that I had, even though I still was pretty young. But um, yeah, it was just, you know, take everything I'd, I'd known and sort of throw it out the window. New school, new friends, new, you know, shopping center to get groceries. Like everything was just a whole new way of life, which was, it was really hard uh, as a kid at that age. But looking back on it now, I'm, I'm super grateful that I've been able to live in Australia, just the opportunities here. And I think the overall quality of life is, uh, it's just a great place to be and I love it here. Um, I, I, my biggest achievement so far would probably have been just finishing the album, uh, setting out to do that, and you know the whole time just at the house sitting around like recording in the closet and bringing the laptop out and um, just going through the takes in the lounge room with the pairs of headphones on and there's no there's no like record contract there's no label executives breathing down our necks like it's nothing like that it's just two two of us making music but we we had the mentality like this has to be the best it can be we sit and we deliberate over one vocal take for like up to 20 minutes on one tiny little detail and oh, i want to swap this word with with that word because it just feels better we we had that sort of intensity and approach um and a lot of that i owe to wilm because that's his work ethic but we just decided from the start that's how it was going to be and yeah I guess maintaining that focus for that long without I guess I guess that's a success to me it's just been an awesome journey so far um, I've been able to learn so much and I'm so grateful for everyone who's you know come to the shows stream the music and you know reached out and told me like this means something to me it's just it's been awesome so far, and I feel like I'm, I'm really now just clicking into gear. It's like things are, are finally coming together in a, in a bigger way than they did before, and I'm just really excited to, to go on this journey and see where it ends up. Yeah. It's been such a cool journey so far. I've been able to learn so much, um, experience so much, and I'm really just excited to see where the future of everything is going to take me um, around the world, hopefully, to meet new people, share new experiences and share a lot of music. And yeah, I can't wait. Um, is that everything you guys need? Yeah. That felt so... Is that good?